Oh, we had him! We had him! Get a jack! Pull him! Let's go! Go to shrimp! Let's go. That's what these tarpon are eating. Coming in the boat. Let's go! Whoa! Flying fish, oh my baby! Oh, this went seven feet in the air. Look. Today, we got a little bit of a change of scenery. We are going out when the sun is down. As you can see, I need this light for uh, you guys to see me. We are hunting fish on all the lights. We can catch moonfish, snook, tarpon, anything that swims around at night, we can catch. We're really trying to go for really big moonfish to bring them back to the saltwater pond to put in with pots and pans. That would be really cool, but we got to catch some seriously big ones. Let's get after it. We got a box of goodies here, a box of big time goodies. We are using- My tackle box. The fish guy, yeah, this is Jack's tackle box. Usually it's a mess. So That's why it's such a great product because it's uh, it literally doubles as a tackle box. We send you everything that we like that catches monster fish and you can just keep it in your box, take it wherever you go when we're fishing. So we're using the fish guy mystery fishing box today to catch these moonfish, to catch anything that's on the lights. I've hooked a lot of tarpon on the baits that we are, we put in this box. I've already hooked them like, last week on my lights. So these things slay, we're ready to get after it. Bang, I love you. Now we're not taking my boat out, we are taking the skiff out, or the canoe. The oh, ca you're the canoe. The canoe with an it's engine on it. The, we're taking the skiff out, you know, this is Jack's boat, we're not taking mine. So we're hitting different lights. The ones by my house are loaded up, but I actually don't know why we didn't hit the lights on my house because, oh wait, I do know why. There's not a lot of moonfish over there. There is a lot of tarpon and snook, but not a lot of moonfish, and we're targeting the moonfish. So those are the big, shiny, reflective, really weird looking fish that everyone loves to put in their aquariums because they're that weird looking. And a couple big ones, like dinner plate ones, would look really cool because they nonstop swim. That's our goal today, baby. That is our goal today. And they're really good eating, but we're not gonna eat them today. We're gonna put them in our tank. It's time to lock in full moon. Look at that beauty. So we are at the famous creepy tide pool spot. This is where we are fishing tonight. That is the creepy tide pool spot right there. That bridge, that's where we go. And we're usually on the beach, we catch all the baby puffers. This time we're coming on boat so we can hit the middle of the canal and hit these lights on the edge where we see a bunch of moonfish, snook and tarpon are usually all over here. That's the game plan. It's just weird coming here at night and being in the water when we're so used to being on land, literally at the tide pool spot. It's really weird. So get that in your brains, guys. Just try to picture it. Try to picture it during the daytime. We saw a couple things blow up already on this light. Hopefully we can get them on. Ladies and gents, you're doing something you've never seen me do before and that's fly fishing. It's the one of the best ways to catch these things because they like to eat the minnows, all right? They, I can't believe Jack's fly. They're minnow eaters. And we're in there like swimwear. Come on, come on. Oh, we had them, we had them. I'm not furting. Mooney. They're eating the, mo the moonies are eating guys. On, moonfish on. Moonfish on, moonfish on. That's a moony. That's a moony. No That's a moon. It's a guaranteed moon. No yep, there he is. Guaranteed Let's moon. Let's go. Okay, that's a decent one, Jack. That's a decent one. Coming in the boat. Let's go. Let's go. Coming in the boat. <sighs> oh my God, he's got the stringers and everything. Gone, oh, that's mooning. Perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> told you. Let's go, man. I told you it's instant that's with the fly rod, dude. Instant with the fly rod. He clutched that. He choked it. Hopefully we'll be able to get that Look back. at how weird that fish is, guys. All right, there you guys have it. The very first moonfish of the evening. Look at what a creepy, crazy looking fish this is. They have these long sickle fins and they're just super thin. Like, look at how thin that fish is. Believe it or not, super good to eat, but. Not a lot of meat on them. Not a lot of meat on them, but they're delicious. It's like a delicious. rainbow, bro. Yeah. Like, it's like pink, blue, silver. They are delicious. So sick. All right, let's get this guy in the cooler. Only time you'll go in a cooler and live, buddy, believe me. Especially on this boat. So Jack said that that is a small one. He that's said, a small one. He said there's bigger ones in there, so. We'll catch them double the that's size. A good damn start if we, that's a small one. So this one we did end up hooking a little bit deep. You guys saw he was kind of bleeding, so. The best chance for this guy to survive is gonna be going back. This was literally the second cast, so obviously the moonfish are here. We know we can get a bigger one. We know we can get one that's hooked perfectly, but at least you guys get a look at how cool these fish are, man. They really are something special. They're gonna look even better inside of the aquarium. So this guy's going back. Goodbye, buddy. So good. Swim. That's what happens. Sometimes you gut hook him. He'll go. Give him there a second. There he goes. He just swam down. Okay, good for him. Good for him. He's, 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 he's gonna he's make good. it. He's gonna make it. He'll make it. We need a bigger one. 
All right, so you guys see us catch all those glass minnows at Chris's dock, all right? Now these lights at night, they attract all those things. So take a look at what we're using here. This thing is literally not even near an ounce. It's literally probably a gram, if that. They're, they imitate those little glass minnows. And when they come through super stuff like that, the fish inside these lights, they can't resist it. That's why I like to fish these flies rather than using a spinning rod. But uh, look at that little thing. Just darting through like a little glass minnow. They can't resist it. The snooker fired up. Snooker so pissed. <laughs> So we came here to catch moonfish, but guess what? You, it's the kid in the candy shop, I tell you. We see a shiny object. Oh my God, is that Reese's cups? We're right there. You're gonna have to pull me back up. For real? Yeah. So we're at some snook lights now. Throughout this video, we're, you're gonna see us change spots a lot. We're pretty much gonna go back and forth from the bridge to, the, to these lights, hit a couple lights, then go back to the bridge. Cause at the bridge, it was loaded up. Snook, tarpon, we saw them rolling everywhere, moonfish. But sometimes when you fish a spot too long, you change it up, move spots and uh, give those fish a break and we'll come back and catch them a little bit later. Jack said that these lights are really good. It's only 1 a.m. We have till probably 3.30 a.m. There's one. All right, you guys, little update. We've discovered that the fish are literally going crazy. There's 500 tarpon. And there's, there's so, many, so tarpon. many tarpon. And we don't know what they're eating, but oh, we just discovered that they're eating shrimp. They are eating shrimp. So we're gonna take this net right here and we're gonna catch a boatload of shrimp. And we might fish a couple for the tarpon, but then we're gonna take some back. We had caught that, we caught that moonfish. Super cool, started the night off great. Ho hopes were high, the morale was up. And then we never saw another one again. But we found what they're eating. Those nasty shrimp. I love shrimp. Let's try to catch them, they're everywhere. Shrimp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Minnows, minnows. There's bait, There's a lot of minnows. there is minnows everywhere. And guys, the shrimp, they're floating on top of the water. The shrimp are swimming on top of the water. That's why we heard the hundreds of tarpon blowing up on top of the water. Cause all the shrimp are cruising the intercoastal with all that current and they're all just poof, getting blown up on. A lot of pops over there to the right. So we're shining this light into the water and seeing if we see those two little eyes, that's a shrimp. Get it, Jack. Come on, let's go. Go to shrimp. Let's go. That's what these tarpon are eating. That little tiny shrimp right there is what these huge 100 pound tarpon are literally eating right now. I'm sure there's some bigger ones out here, but that is exactly what these fish are eating. This is a one in a million night, most likely. We just hit it right on the noggin. We came out yesterday, we probably would have never seen it. We came out tomorrow, probably not gonna see it. It's literally a very, very rare occurrence, except for, especially for this time of year. But we got a shrimp, I'm gonna go put him in the bucket. Might be able to get a lot. Second shrimp just netted him. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. So freaking, like they're so, look at the eyes on that. It's like an alien, bro. Bright green, orange, that's sick. So they hang on to all the leaves. That's why we're kind of looking in the debris because they like to attach onto the leaves and then the tarpon come up and smoke them. So we may turn this into a bigger fish, you never know. But we're gonna keep as many as we can catch. Got him, baby. Look at this guy. So this is floating along with everything. Ah, he's the spicy guy. I think that might be a baby blue. Look at that. Don't, you're not going anywhere, buddy. You're not going anywhere. It's on the mystery box. I don't blame him. That right there, I think it might be a baby blue. I have no idea. But this is what the tarpon are eating. These guys, shrimp, all this stuff, it's all floating right by us, including fish. We've seen a ton of fish. This guy's gonna go in the bucket. We may turn him into something bigger as well. Gonna intercept him. Gonna intercept him. Intercept that shrimp. I'm not gone. No. He's going down. He don't oh. like light. Oh. He went down. He went down. Damn it. I'm a shrimp hunter. They call me the fish guy. I'm the shrimp guy right now. When the shrimp get scared, they go right down to the bottom. So you gotta catch them when they're slipping. I've got them. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh, we gotta watch the boat. We gotta watch the boat. Okay, I got the boat, I got the boat. Okay, I'll do the uh, I'll do the no, Jack, get I still them. have them, I still have them. Keep them glued, keep them glued. Watch the boat. I got the boat, I got the boat. Forward we're, and to the right. We're good, we're good right now. Forward and to the right. Trust me, we're gonna drift right into it. And I wanna get away from the dock. Oh my God, he saw the shrimp and he said, yes, please. Dude, they're all eating the shrimp, bro. He said, they yes, went, please. He went nuts over the shrimp. Brooke, you see my line? Right at the front, he might jump. My God, they love the shrimp, Jack. Immediately, Let's immediately crush it. He might jump, 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 he's out here. Yeah, he's gonna jump. Whoa, Whoa. flying fish, baby. Oh my baby. God, he just went seven feet in the air. Let's go. He just went seven feet in the air. You're kidding me, he just went seven feet in the air. That was sick. He just went Come on, boy. Jack, you better you better nut up, bro. Come on, Jack, he might jump. Where's your he might sack? jump. He might jump. Jack is fishing the smallest hook right now, too. Such a small hook, but I got faith in this hook. And he's got vitamin three, C, baby. Three, three jumps out of him. He's gonna be in the, here he comes. Oh, he's just rolled. Guys, he not just to mention, we have. Here he goes, here he goes. No! Keep him on, yes. Jack. I'm yes. so scared, bro. Because every time that happens, we lose the fish. 
Jack is also fishing a literal bass reel, a this bass rod. That could have been a 200 pounder for all we know. Obviously it's not, but we were fishing. And anytime you're fishing, it could be a giant fish. So 2% on the camera as well. We are going down to the wire, 2% on this camera. Guys, we are gonna be switching over to the phone because our camera is dying right now. No! I still have him. Thank God, Jack. That's the last one out of him. All right, sir. Just please do not jump right now. For the love of Christ, just come into the boat. We're not gonna eat you. We're gonna just give you a hug and then let you go. There he is. Jack. Oh, he's good. Okay, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Light central? Yeah, but I don't know. Light central? Look at that guy. That's a poon. Rassle him, Jack. <clears throat> Rassle that fish. I got him. <laughs> Rassle that fish. I got him. Let's go. You better not. Don't do it, Jack. Let's go, baby. Turn him. No. Thing is, these, these things fight hard, man. They fight hard. Ah, Let's go, baby. There it is. Some perfect size tarpon, especially on the rod that I'm fishing. About a five pounder, five, maybe six pound tarpon right there. Wow, baby, like Let's a huge go. pilchard. That, that is a beast fish, though. He took that shrimp and engulfed it. They fight so hard. So hard, what a so beautiful hard. fish, man. Such a So much fish. respect. Look at this little guy. Crush the hook, crush the shrimp. Got it out. There you go, okay, buddy. You okay. say you revive him right here, and you get, just get the current in his gills, let Give him kick him that second. tail. Hey, he's already kicking, look at that. See that? He wants to go off. He's the, already got life. The crazy thing is, there's tarpon out here that are 10 times the size of this. No exaggeration, 10 times. So, imagine a 200 pounder. This Absolutely. little scale right here, see how it's missing? That's all from the line. When the line rubs on their back, rubs on their scales a little bit, but that, I mean, that'll regrow in no time. You guys see us take our tarpon out of the water. Oh, easy, buddy. And he regrows it. All right, big boy. We can maybe put the boat in gear again. Just getting that oxygen going through him. You can go out of gear. He's loving that, dude. He's loving that. That's straight, like having an oxygen mask on. All right, big girl. Little girl, actually. There he goes. Oh, we did it, guys. That's the first tarpon as a group. That's the first tarpon as a group. Brooke? Eating the shrimp. Let's go, Chris. Eating the shrimp. Let's go. That's huge. Fish swam off strong. Let's go. That's hype. That is so awesome. If we had more shrimp, we would catch a million Oh, tarpon. you think we're going in? That's funny. <laughs> we're gonna sit out here another 30 minutes. We're gonna net some shrimp. We're gonna track one more. Oh Hopefully we still have this camera, all right? If not, we'll see you at the house with a bucket of full shrimp. I got my phone, so I'll record on my damn phone. We are capturing something. We could literally, not even kidding you, we probably heard so many, bro. 150 blow ups tonight. And one of those is a 180 pounder. So that's just a freaking little guy. They would probably eat that guy. <laughs> so literally, you never know what you can catch out here. Live shrimp. Ladies and gents, it is the next day and we actually ended up putting on a clinic last night with some shrimp. Look at that right there. The camera ended up dying. So we just put on a clinic real quick. We had one other bite from a tarpon and that was it. But look at the size of this one. I was so surprised. We had a couple like that and I was so surprised that we did not hook more fish last night. But it's a hoss. It's a hoss. That is like insane. But we did get a few. That's all that matters. Take a look at all those guys inside the bucket. And we're going to do a little feeding, ladies and gents. We're going to go to Earl first. This is actually Earl's first live shrimp. So we're going to see how he does. I'm worried that. I think he's full because as you can see right there, that is a needlefish. I think it's his spine. So he just probably finished that one and he might be a little full today, but we're gonna see what happens when we put one in. Yeah, and there's not much of a scent on these things either. That is a studly shrimp for our boy Earl. You ready for that shrimp, sir? I hope he's gonna eat it. It's not gonna have much scent, but you know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's enter. I don't think he's hungry, bro. Dude, I just don't think he smells it. <laughs> the shrimp's trying to bury. Huh? The shrimp's trying to bury in the sand. Earl. I genuinely think Earl is full from that needlefish we gave him. And look at him. Look at this shrimp. Burying in the sand. Hang on. Hang on, Earl. Hang on. Leave it up to Earl. Look at those claws getting wide. Ooh, look at that stance. Ooh, try, try, to, try to put one right in that claw. Oh my gosh. Early. Oh. oh. 
Oh, he got oh. it. Oh, get it, Earl. Oh, he's got <laughs> okay, so it. Okay, so I guess pitcher. I guess he's not full. There you go, boy. Nice fresh shrimp. It's as fresh as you're gonna get, sir. I hope yep. you enjoy that. Look at that. He's gonna freaking pick that thing to pieces. He loves that. He loves it. Early boy. We love Earl. We love Earl, baby. Now, if you guys think we should put Earl on a Fish Guy shirt, ladies and gents, a former shirt, we should put Earl. Let us know down in the comments. I think that would be so cool if we come out with a sick design to put Earl on a performance t-shirt right here. I think uh, he's obviously a staple. I think he's, he deserves it. He's the best in the tank room by far, by a mile. He's a beast. He eats everything you can think of. He might have to go on a shirt. I think he might have to go on a shirt. And also, I know we our mission last night was to go catch those moonfish. They ended up not being thick at all. If you guys want us to actually go back, catch a bunch of moonfish to bring back to the pond, I still want to do that video. Drop a like on this video if you guys think we should do that. I think it'd be really cool to get even a bigger one than we caught last night, put those guys in the pond, swimming around like crazy. Definitely make that happen. I love it. All right, let's go to that tank, baby. We got some predators inside there that are ready. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go in with four. Four All at four once. At once. I like it. Yeah, I like that. All right, Mr. Lionfish, Mr. Grouper. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Oh, lion. I just like watching the lionfish. Oh, that eat. grouper just got one. Lionfish is hunting. Lionfish is hunting that live shrimp. Lionfish is hunting <laughs> that live shrimp. Boom! Oh, that's sick. That was sick. Dude, I think he's my favorite in this tank, bro. He's so stealth. Oh, the shark got one too, but he just spit it out. I mean, this grouper eats like a madman, but, and he's getting big, but that lionfish eats so cool. The lionfish is a beast, bro. So I think he's my favorite in the tank. We're shrimping. These are wild shrimp, ladies and gents. Very hard <laughs> to come by. I Here think, we go, I, lionfish. I think I- Lionfish. Dude. Come on, lion. Let's go. Come on, lion. Oh my God. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh. we missed. Short strike. Short oh. strike again. Shark. Oh, oh we watch missed out, it. lion. You're going to get attacked with a shark, bro. Oh God, the shark. Where's the scorpion? He's in here. Scorpion's shy. I see him in the rocks right oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he looking? No. Oh, his head's towards the back. Dun, 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 Get the way dun, you dun, freaking. Dun, 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 Boom. Let's go. Got the tail. Get out of there. Got the tail. Got the tail. He's got to try to get out of there. <laughs> what is he doing? Why is he sideways he's like that? He's trying to hold on to it, bro. He's literally that, trying to hold on. That, that shrimp, shrimp is trying is, to get out. Yeah, he's going nuts, that shrimp. Look at those little feet. Not spaghetti for him, for sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We definitely want to go back out and catch bigger dinner plate size moonfish. So we definitely will make that happen. Appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.